we're now going to look at the lower extremities. We're going to look at, first of all, just the passive uh, position of the baby. The baby is in somewhat flexion, but not off the mat. Um, we'll look now at um, range of motion at the hips, coming into flexion at the knees, rotating the midline. We're seeing some resistance can't get totally out, but almost to the mat. So a little bit more rotation or ex abduction than what we should do. Now we can uh, extend and flex at the knee. That's pretty easy, reflecting lower tone at the knee and symmetric. And looking at the ankle, again we have full range of motion. In fact, we have decreased resistance. We can then try to jiggle that a little bit and just see what type of movement we get in the ankle. And see that it's fairly loose. We can check for ankle clonus. There's no ankle clonus. The other thing that I like to do is to hold the one leg straight and then just look at the other leg, how well I can extend it up to do the same thing with this. Just see how up we can get. Again, that's higher or more of an angle as far as extending the uh, flexing the hip than what we should be able to normally. Again, reflecting lower tone.